from the Lazy Brook Farm. And today we're gonna go on an adventure up north. But first, we gotta take care of all that snow that fell last night. Oof. There we go, much better. Central New Hampshire to show you how my grandpa makes maple syrup. Well, I look up the tree and I find the limbs because you have to be under them. Yeah. That's where the sap comes from. You want to be under them so the sap coming down will come directly out. Okay. You get a better fall. This tree is pretty good no matter where you tap it. A lot of limbs. What are you doing there? I take off the excess back, so when I drill, drill in, it's, it's got a nice wooded area. This right here is a stop, so it allows that drill to go, that bit to go only that far, instead of go halfway through the tree. And that's all you need, and the spile goes in almost to the end of that. So just a small little hole, doesn't hurt the tree any. Nope. And they, after two or three years, they fill it in. <clears throat> and this is going to run, that's for sure. Look at that, already dripping. Yep. So you started tapping out around Wednesday, which would have been the, the middle of February. Yep. That's pretty common. Yeah, usually the last week of February. But I go by the weather, the extended weather. And it looks like it's going to be pretty good this week, and then next week it may not be good at all. But they get the high temperatures and the lows. And if the, if the low is in the mid to low 20s or upper teens, and the high is upper 30s to low 40s, it's perfect. <laughs> so how do you know the position to set the... You mean this way? Yes. I always have it so it's down a little bit. So, so the sap will not freeze inside because it will all run out. So about how many taps are you going to put out? Usually I have between 75 and 90. What is that call that you're putting in the tree now? Spile. I guess if you didn't know trees as well, you could always go around with a little bit of tag tape or spray paint and just mark the maple trees when they still had that nice leaf on there. Yep. And then later on, you just tap the trees with all the holes in it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> A lot of tap holes in this tree. You can even tell where the snow was a little higher that year. <laughs> we used to use plastic containers, but then we couldn't get them. So my wife came up with this idea. We checked it out, it worked good, so that's what we've been doing for the last four or five years. These are gallon, and these are freezer bags. If you get the cheap ones, they'll probably leak. You have to put on these clothespins, otherwise the zipper could come off. Could open up in a heavy wind. So with those 75 to 90 taps out, about how many gallons of syrup do you think you'll get? Well, it depends on how long you want to gather. If it runs good, it takes about three days with all these taps to fill a barrel. And 
one barrel equals one gallon, right? No, that, them are 32 gallons, so I have to have a barrel and a half. Okay. To get a uh, full 40 gallons. And that first run, that's always the best. It's got the most sugar in it. Yeah. Yeah, because when it, uh, if you tap until a lot of part of March, your sap starts to get a little hazy looking. And so it's not good. It doesn't taste as good or anything, you know? Mm -hmm. So I like to get it first, first run. Hey, Chucks. Appreciate you guys' help. Oh, jeez. You got a snowball, buddy? Huh? Join us again in a few weeks where we collect the rest of that sap, boil it down into some delicious golden syrup, and preserve it in some glass jars. Mm -hmm.